It's DK and DK. Please stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Please stand by. On the air next. Please stand by. On the air, this is the PKNDK show. Please stand by. Now it's time to go online. Hello, it's all about the internet. www.pknDK.com. Forget the PK and DK, DK show. show. Your average everyday couple Who fight and make up on YouTube. Welcome to our dysfunctional life. Oh, you're dancing now. Okay. Okay. How are you? Welcome to the show, PK Denise. Hi. Uh-huh. Hi. I'm going to be off tonight at 5 30. You'll be outside. Yep. I'm going to. We have a show to do tonight. Yep. I'm not going to work late. Tonight's the night. <laughs> Liar, liar, so, pants on fire. <laughs> at 5.30, I text her. And I'm like, there's no possible chance that uh, this chicken head's going to be ready at 5.30. So chicken head. I texted her. I was still at the house. Yeah, you were at 5.24. Still You're at, at the house. At the hizzy. You know, which it was right? a bit of a gamble because if she's off, I'm the I'm the right home. So yeah. she could be downstairs with her bags and stuff. Yeah, but we now, know. Where are you? We know that that's not happening in the next few weeks. 530. So. I said, how much more time do you need? We got a show tonight. And what did I say? How much more time? <laughs> Picked her up at 718. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a few little, you know, poof, 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 uh, little, a couple little, of things, yeah. Oh, fire drills going on. Uh-huh. Yeah, and they continue as we are uh, live oh, on the show. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. It's hey, I can't hate on you. You're actually, you know, you're you're the money maker. So mm-hmm. what uh, you know, yeah. I can only can only, I can only complain <laughs> so much. I know. I was like, I could have drove myself like I did yesterday. Well, I don't like hanging out with you. I like <laughs> being able to you yeah. know, be in the car and, so and drive with you. And, and, and um, then um, uh, you know? on the flip side, I feel like such a jerk for saying this, but I was like, man, it's okay if I drive myself. I got 15 minutes where yeah, I can just be that about? quiet. Like I listen to like music. Like I still listen to DJ Baby Drew. He's like turn up mixes and stuff like going to work. But when I come home, I'm just point blank silence. And I think that I'm crazy, but I'm like, I just want, shh, I want nothing, nothingness. Like not even a turn signal. Like a turn signal bothers me. I mean, I do it because it's, you know, the law. But if I don't have to, I just want to sit it's in silence. It's the only time I get to hang out with her I now. Know. It's when I drive her home uh, to work and home. This is the only time. She's trying to take that away from me as well. <laughs> I think she's over your boy. <laughs> I did not over. That's what happened. No, not over. There's just a lot. I told okay. you it's just a little busy. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Late. Really appreciate y'all for being flexible. Uh, yes, we do appreciate you guys. Also, shout out to the replay. Gang, gang, gang. gang. <laughs> Uh, but let's do a little roll call right now because the people must, must be heard. heard. Who do you see in the so, chat? Again, uh, drop in those cities so I can call out your cities too. But I also got the Magonzo. We all know he's Magonzo. What's up, bro? In Houston. What, Tom, I know you were doing the Python lessons. How are they coming along? Are you ready to do some hacking for your boy? Where are we at on that? I got Anita. Oh, Dave. Mysterious Dave's joining us. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's no. got to be. He's got the wrench next to him, so he's the boss. Dave? <laughs> Dave, that's Dave right. Dave, is it here? Yeah. Okay, wow. I do see... Uh, meme, I didn't know we were having one of those shows. <laughs> meme Lord Nelly is in the chat. Alfredo joining us. And Tom, he's actually in there. What's up? Yeah. Who's who's in there? Tom, you know, who you were just talking about. Yeah, that's why everybody. I asked the um, question. You think I'm just asking the question if he's not in there? We got Tressa in Tigard, Carol up, in Tressa? Salem. How you doing? The Gurners are in Central Point, Oregon. What's up, what is Gurners? on? Um, let's see. Hi, guys from Saints Tap, Portland. That's from Kevin Halterman. Cypress, Texas. I see Cypress in there. I'm, not, I'm not sure of this name. May yeah. Easy Boom Shell Crew. I just had to make oh, sure I, like I said that out proper. That's, I don't know how uh, to say that, but I like that. Welcome yeah. from Lawrenceville, Georgia. Checking in here. Mm. Leslie's husband. Oh, what up? Aww. Welcome to the chat. Uh, James is in Spokane. We got Cypress, Texas. Um, in the office. That's Dave. Oh. Uh, Porterville, Rodrigo. I thought Dave worked from the house. He's got an office? You've got an office, son? I mean, are you saying too much about Dave? I don't He's know. He's mysterious for a reason. We okay. don't know to say nothing. All right. I'm actually, I don't know. I am very surprised, Dave, that you're not coming. I don't know exactly what you do for work, um, but there's like a energy and nuclear conference going on next what? week. You can't say. You, and I'm shocked. Nuclear. Say it with me. Nuclear. Nuclear. N- see? You're like the Darian now of Nuc- this show nu- since you left. Shit. Nuclear. 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 Like nuclear. Not nuclear. Like 
N E W new clear. clear. Like N E W new clear. Just look at the letters. I, I don't know why, it's, but that's a big pet peeve. Like when I screw up words, I don't do it on purpose. I don't ever use the word nuclear. Like, who doesn't know? That's like <laughs> one of the easiest the words, nuclear. nuclear. All right. Uh, but the thing that like one of my pet peeves is people that like purposely screw up words. Yeah. Not necessarily right there because that See, you just can't it. say it. I know it. Mysterious Dave said he was gonna be there, but had a schedule conflict. You were gonna be in Houston where the conference is going on at my property and you aren't coming? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like mad, actually. Dave. For all that you've done for the show, you won't do more and come <laughs> to a conference that I'm helping put together. <laughs> Are you really? I mean, yeah, I What's, do. How's, how's that? You know, when you're putting conferences together yeah. and stuff, um, yeah. uh, how do you, is, do is you that wanna, people? You want me to explain my job to you? No. You don't know? No, no, I've heard enough of it. So, somebody books it, you know, and then I take it all in. So, like, I handle all the guest rooms, like, early check-ins, like, check-outs, blah, blah, blah. All of, like, the setup. I do AV, get them in touch with the right people, make sure the diagrams are correct, do all the food and beverage, you know. Then I stand there, hello, welcome, and uh, I greet everyone, how was your stay? And if they got, you know, air conditioning's out, then I take care of that, and, you know, leaks, and I'm like, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just playing around. Okay, yeah. And that's what I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, jeez. What? I know, I just know way too much about your job now, because it's like, you know. Well, why don't we talk about something else? Uh, please. Okay, how's That'd your job? <laughs> it's going great. It's super duper. <laughs> that's, that's, that was, I'm trying not to curse. <laughs> And we got a seal laugh right there, so let's uh, applaud that. Oh. You doing that nonsense? Were you drinking at work today? No, I'm. You doing some drugs or something? No, some bumps? What's, no, what's happening? In, in fact, no. Like I, um, I woke up at three this morning, and like my, uh, my like anxiety was out of the world, like out of this world. So I took a few deep breaths, and then I looked over to my left, and I forgot that I didn't drink my magnesium. You know what we talked about last show? My, yeah. Uh, your calm, your calm tea. Yeah, my cocktail. A non-alcoholic cocktail for night. It's magnesium. Well, that's after like Shari a box of wine, though, too. Like all of a sudden, not she a wants, box. That's like three know, bottles. Let's whatever. Calm down a little bit. Yeah, you're not up there. Now all of a sudden, she wants to the thing that she drank at three in the morning. She wants to put the headline <laughs> non-alcoholic. <laughs> the fifteen other wine glasses. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Um. So I I had that, and then like this morning, I just felt like this whole sense of calm, and I was like. This isn't my normal self right now. Like I really need to get out of it. Like I so I like chugged a Celsius. Not good for you, I'm sure. At three in the morning? No, after like once I got to work, I was oh. like, I'm like sleepy bear right now. I'm like, ah. Oh. So I'm like, I gotta focus. Like I need. Well, that's like, what happens when you wake up at three in the morning and then you I'm just take don't magnesium. I know. You don't try to go. You don't try to sleep through I the do night. Too. No, I do too. I you don't. I put you don't. my hands because the night before we had the storms or whatever, and I get it that the storms woke you up, but you can still go back to sleep. Mm. You do not. What you do is you jump on your phone, yeah. you're, you start looking at stuff, which immediately is going to wake you up sure, even more. You're brain. not trying to sleep. Hmm. So then it's just a, you know, vicious cycle. Well, that's just my life. Maybe I'll sleep tonight. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Tomorrow is supposed to be my off day, and I put it in air quotes because I have to take it off. Off day. Because, yeah, there's no way. Can't do it. Uh, yeah, I see you in the chat. Uh, Alfredo and saying, get her PK. Look. <laughs> I'm not trying to get her. I'm just saying that it, like it's so aggravating because she'll be like complaining <laughs> about a I can't sleep, and I'm like, well, B, get off your phone then. B, you can you can sleep if you'd like to sleep, nah. but you're not trying to sleep, so that's you're you're choosing to be up all night. Uh, Jesus. Yeah. What's Donation. Up? Jesus, there we go. <laughs> Yay! Kicking off this. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <gasps> Did he just knock your shoulder almost out, my love? No. <laughs> okay. I wanted to read the comment, but it's through Cash App, which, by the way, if you want to share donations, you're more yeah, than welcome right. to. Yeah, that's right. Got a little, uh, little, it's on the screen right there. You can support the show. We'd appreciate it. Um, I want to uh, talk, obviously, I know it's uh, you're probably sick of the conversation uh, of the eclipse that happened this week, but I did have a pretty, uh, a, a pretty decent little road trip, so we're going to be talking about that coming up in a few minutes. Also, the noise, a lot of great guesses for what's that noise. This is the one we're trying to figure out. Listen. know about this one i don't know that's a that's you know i'll i'll do that for that's a 50 you know i mean i appreciate it and that's a good start uh but until we hit 50 i don't think so this is i mean what kind of request is that 
<laughs> what are we doing, Jesus? Oh, I yeah. smashed the bong gong dong for you, <laughs> and this is the message. Jesus goes for the second random thing. PK licks DK's ear today at 8 p.m. <laughs> I don't know. Have you seen her ear? She's got like oh. oh what 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 do I got? You got stuff in your ear. What do you mean I have? Stuff I don't want to lick ear. it. You got stuff in there. I know my psoriasis is bad. It's, Plus, in, I'm not, it's in my ear. And you can't lick my ear because you know that that turns me on. <laughs> That's my turn on. I don't know why. Everybody has a button. That's mine. Like you start going for the ear. Oh, oh my it's god, done. gross. I wanted to smash you last night at three in the morning, but then you oh. were on like Instagram or something. <laughs> And then I'm like, oh, I don't know where the line is because we've been married for 15 years. Can I smash right now? Like, I mean, maybe so just, I, I tried to like wiggle my it. way over and like put the arm around and, uh, you know, uh, did the spooning and lifted up a little butt cheek to do the spoon even closer. <laughs> Nothing. This is a I lot, was like, All a right, lot well, there of goes that. personal there information goes that. right now. Yeah. You want to talk about personal information? Yeah. Let's have a conversation about that. What, what the F are you doing t- telling your friend the last time we had sex? Why? I think I told everyone. Yeah. Well, maybe not. I mean, you're on with Melissa. Yeah. And you're just like putting all my business out there. No, I tell like Chantel that too. Oh, fucking great. And I think I actually told like the chat last week that as well. So well, like everyone knows. You well, I don't keep my name out your mouth. Okay. Well, someone whose name is not PK and I have not done okay, the name. Okay. Well, what the fuck? What is going on here? <laughs> I'm going to just start. You did, oh. Well, you asked the question. No, I didn't I ask the question. Well, I'm just saying, just like, keep my, I'm not telling my boys that well, you're not your, getting any your stuff. Because it's like embarrassing for you. With with me, I'm like, ah, it is what it is. Oh, you it's know what? Oh, I'm going to open up the conversation. So I don't know. Yeah. Uh, if you're one of my boys, get ready for all the intimate stuff from Denise. Oh, <laughs> you did. I'm going to give told, it all to you. I think you told. All of it's you, coming. You were your like way. chatting with uh, producer Ely on the roof on Sunday, like sharing stories. And I was like, ah, oh, this is TMI. What was I saying to him? I don't, just how, I don't know, like. I wasn't saying anything TMI, was I? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I hope not. I don't think so. Uh, Let me see what's happening with the chat real quick. Uh, Baby update from Dave. Well, that's your baby update. She doesn't want to have a kid with me. No, no, from producer Ilya. Oh, baby update. Oh, from, yes. From the ones that have a baby. I think we've talked about it. Yes, Ilya had his, uh, his. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, we had him on the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And, like, we were able well, to... that question came from Dave, who hasn't been here for, like, uh, you know, about two and a half years. Hmm. But, um, yeah, and the uh, little babies is healthy, oh, and I think they're doing a little better because now they're going out of the house. And, yeah, uh, I, was, you know? I was so upset. They had, like, their first um, dinner, like, in the restaurant that we love to go to, and they're like, Denise, get off work. And I was like, y'all, you know, like, how hard it is for day of? I can't plan. Like, I have to plan a month in advance. It's really sad. However, if I was able to join at seven, and I do make one day a week, you know, to spend with them and the new baby. Like, she told me to go to dinner. I'm like, I can't I possibly. I'm the one without a job. I can't possibly go have fun. A Lupe tor. What is it? Lupe tortilla. Yeah, Lupe tortilla. Ooh, yeah. it's like the, the tortillas are. Uh, I don't want to say the cheap El Tiempo because mm-hmm. it's it's almost at that. Le- I might like it better. No, I don't know. It's real fancy, good. It's you not know, fa- fancy, but it's real good. It's good Mexican. It's real good. But I can't go and I'm stuffing my face, having margaritas, the party, it's a party, and yeah. she's still at work. She's the one making it. I can't do that. Yeah. So, so do you guys know no. what, we, what we did instead? We were just going to go to um, our local Kroger. Yeah. And uh, get up that K bar. <laughs> but, but, but the point was, we were just going to get a lasagna. I was like, I am so tired. I just like, I don't want to go to get restaurant lasagna because the last one I had was so disappointing, but this other one is pretty good. So we, we walk in there and of course, like through the wine department, oopsies. And then I've, I know we've talked about and shared about it on the show before, but our Kroger has, it's called the K bar. I think it's called like cork and screw or something, but it's really like 10, 12 bar stools. And like, we made friends like with the lady who runs it all. And she had her own like private wine tasting and we totally came in at the end of it i don't know if you caught that yeah they were totally they they, were wrapping it all up and like about to be done no they were done when we showed up because we showed up at 8 10 yeah and at 8 40 when we got done she said that they were finished at eight yeah 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 it was good though we met some guy and he was telling us like all about the wines from bordeaux yeah yeah i know i was like what is happening like we just came for lasagna and then i yeah left with like i left tipsy what our life <laughs> become. We're just getting trashed at the K-Bar now at the Kroger. <laughs> Kroger. Welcome the Kroger to our life. Um, 
Should I take some of the guesses? We're also going to yeah. play match two on the way, um, but I do have some guesses I want to get out of the way for the noise that I played just a few minutes ago. What, what do you see? What I do see you a see? comment from Backwards Mickey Mouse in the chat. What's he say? Uh, I'm watching on my smart fridge. That is a first. The fuck? Can you please take a picture and share it in our Discord? right now? We're on the fridge? That's insane. What you got in there? That's insane. Yeah. These you fridges know, that's are way too smart. Too far. They're way do, too smart. They got Wi-Fi. And do we need a TV on a refrigerator? I don't... Well, I guess... Oh, when you're cooking, it's kind of cool to be, or maybe in the morning you're making some breakfast, so you kind of want to watch the news. I'm just trying to justify why a TV on or off a refrigerator. I guess it does make sense if you're not going to have one in the kitchen, or if you don't. All right, all right, I'll give. Sorry, that to when you. the donations oh, come in, I have to interrupt. Shit. I gotta interrupt. Oh, I know what this is for. <laughs> I don't want to hit the bong gong dong. <laughs> yeah. I'm licking your ear. Is that what's happening? Apparently. Uh, uh, we need a PK Jr. All right. Oh, well, check. <laughs> doesn't turn me on. Check, check. What do you mean doesn't turn you on? Are you licking my ear? There's actually a couple things real quick. Yeah. Um, before before I forget, before I forget, Ace was saying something. She likes Lupe over El Tiempo. Come on, Ace. I agree. I agree. Yeah, for you rapping about. I mean, yeah. You get the stove at El Tiempo with the fucking lobster. Yeah, if you could pay two hundred dollars for a Tex Mex dinner. I wasn't putting oh. I wasn't putting the price value like as part of what you like better. I was just talking about the taste of the food. If we're solely going if you won the lotto, Ace, if you won the lotto, are you going to Lupe or are you going to El Tiempo? Now, if we put price into the mix, then yeah, I do prefer Lupe because it's like, you know, reasonable. <laughs> we're price. at like freaking. And also, El Tiempo, and what's the other one by um, 59 that they had it in Atlanta too that always cuts us off after two margaritas? Like, oh, like clockwork. Two margaritas, you're cut off. I'm like, I know oh, they're papacitos. strong. Papacitos. Yeah. yeah. The F is that about? Mm -hmm. Can't be cutting people off after two. <laughs> they cut two pictures. Yeah, Uncle Jerry came, remember? And they cut, they him, cut off. him off. <laughs> yeah, he was not happy about that. Um, a few more comments in the chat as PK makes his way over here for some odd reason. Well, I gotta look through uh, here, right? We, we got, got another thirty <laughs> donations, we got so we gotta go. I gotta go in. Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> I gotta go in. Oh, I'm going in. Oh, so I'm going in. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> This is my hurt ear, you bitch. Ow, honey, it's all wet. <laughs> Did you want me to do the other one? Oh, this is my hurt ear. You you admitted. Are we, we're almost going up. We're almost only fans in it now, huh? Oh, my God. People got to pay for us just to do it. Ew. I'm not really objecting. You almost, I, gave, I think I gave myself a wet willy. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, and I think I pulled something. What? It's sensitive here. You know that. I told you yesterday. I it wasn't hurt. thinking about that. I was just like, ooh, I get the ear. Ooh, That's you get dirty. the ear. How is that? Just mm. as good as for you as me? Yeah. God. Wasn't the best. Wasn't the best. Um, uh, Never been cut off, by the way. Uh, what is, uh, what, uh, here starts with, any, what's Elias saying? If you win the lotto, you're not going to either. No, I, I think I would. Why wouldn't I go to either? I would. If I won the lotto, I'm not, there isn't. There isn't a lot in my life that I would switch up. In all honesty, there isn't a lot in my life that I would switch up. Maybe I'd get like a maybe Tesla. I will, maybe I wouldn't get boxed wine. <laughs> yeah, probably that. But like, I'm not. Y'all think I'm getting. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm honestly because. You know, I'm honestly trying to answer the question without hey, without being funny. From? Like, I don't. Uh, where where else would you eat? Like the extra. I don't like like if something is too fancy. Mm -hmm. And I'm not just saying this. Like, I've been to a lot of real fancy spots. We went to uh, Umi. Yeah. Great. Oh, my God. That was amazing. But is that my favorite sushi restaurant? Is uh, that where I would go if to, I won the lotto? To, no. To be honest, yeah. What did I, I, what did I ask the I, guy? I'm I, like, hey, I would. what that do you was, recommend? That sushi was amazing. Are you I said, what me? do you recommend? And then he tells me, and I was like, all right, what do you recommend for a fat man? Because everything that came out right now was teeny tiny. Is there like an actual meaty roll? Like a meaty roll. The fancier you go to a sushi get, restaurant, PK wants the meatiest. Yeah, I want something with fucking substance in it. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yes, I do. That's yeah. exactly what. And I did have. you get like a fat, uh, fatty tuna or something? I don't. I have no idea. Mm -hmm. Everything was good, but the pr my point is, if I won the lotto, I won't just be going to exclusive like crazy nice places because they're just food isn't to yeah, me. That's what it was. As as good as some of the places that you know, it's just like tiny, itty bitty, like gold flakes on. I don't. Do I care about gold flakes on shit? You're, you're not. 
I need like an actual. Now, I will tell you the one place that's kind of fancy and has probably the best burger I've had up there. I don't want to say the best burger, but like top five for sure. And it's here. What's the place that um, Chantel, what's, the, what's her place? At the burger spot, Hudson House. Uh, Hudson House. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. That giving, burger. Oh, that, you know what? We're giving away some. Let me hit that. We're giving for the Hudson away House. some like free plugs right there. Yeah, that's true. So, by the way, I went into my ear because I was like, "There's something weird," and then I looked at, and it was like, it looked like, "What'd you eat today?" Oh uh, yeah, I haven't brushed my teeth for like two days. I was gonna say, "What did you eat today?" Because I think whatever was in your mouth, I I thought it kind of was like quinoa, but I know you don't eat quinoa. But did you have rice today? Because that's what pulled out uh, of my ear. That was yesterday. Remember, I told you I made that uh, rice that we had in the refrigerator for a couple days. Oh my god, the brown rice. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's in your ear right now. You got, you got a little uh, and you, healthy and you healthy wonder brown rice right up in her ear. And you wonder why we don't have sexy time. You don't brush your teeth. Your breath stinks. P U. Well, <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that a joke? No. You guys witnessed it. It came out my ear that PK just stuck his tongue in. I'm like, what is that? I brush my teeth, people. Oh, I don't want people okay. thinking I'm nasty. Although, I thought it was interesting. So, uh, and, and new, I want to run PK's down this. new favorite leftover spot, my ear. <laughs> uh, I... Because I want to run down this this, uh, this trip that I did all the way up to like Arkansas here in just a sec. But like one of the things, just jumping ahead of myself, one of the things was I didn't know where I was going to end up. Right. I didn't know. So I'm like, if I had to drive to like further north, I would have and that would have made it impossible for me to make it back. So in the car, I put like a blanket and a pillow just in case I'm so far out there yeah. that I had like a pillow so I could sleep in the car. Right. And then, so we came back, and your friend was like, oh, I hope you burned that pillow. Yeah. It's just been in the car. That's it. And maybe on the hood of the car when I put the camera <gasps> oh, up against no. it. Oh, no. Besides that, oh, no. and you put what's it back wrong on the, with the pillow? And you put it back on the bed? Yeah. And with all the ticks that were out there? There was no ticks. I I, I did one of those things and, and moved the, oh the, the leaves and stuff. Maybe that, it fell on the grass once. There was a tick in my ear. Oh, my God, PK, you are making things worse right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I, I was like, I was baffled by that comment because he's like burn the pillow i'm like what why why burn yeah it. the pillow's fine so i do want to run down this trip real quick before we get too crazy in here um and i want to start it with i did a little compilation of because here's really what happened right so the eclipse happened i really wanted to go see it there was it wasn't an option for me not to really see this thing right but just because i'm really i i love I mean, 27, I love science, I love space. I, in 2017, I thought it was amazing. And I knew that, I mean, go back to the last show. I knew that mm -hmm. this was going to be spectacular because the sun is going through its, uh, you know, active phase right now. And there's a comet possibly to see, like, I couldn't, I couldn't possibly miss this. But at the same time, I don't have a job. So I prepare myself for really not seeing it. Because I, how do you justify getting in the car and driving for like two days if you don't have a job and then she's at work and... I just felt really bad. But you you were an absolute sweetheart because yeah. you actually was, I don't want to say forced me, but you definitely encouraged, encouraged me to go. I that's the correct word. Yeah, because like this is something you've been looking forward to. It's been on the calendar forever. And then I think what solidified it was like the night prior. And then I was kind of doing some like Insta stories, PK, like sitting and watching like the countdown. And then we went to... um like we went to friend's house and they were watching the video that PK did it of the ring of fire, which finally you posted it. But like just how like excited you are and how you were talking to everybody and how like everybody should be able to experience it. All of the kids that are in school, take the time to go out, talk about it, learn about it, get them interested in science. Like you just are so passionate that why would you miss something like if you have the opportunity to. So once I got the approval. Approval. That's ridiculous. I started my, my wheels started you know, moving. And I'm like, all right, well, my original plan was going to go to, um, to Austin, uh, somewhere in between. I kind of wanted to do like Fredericksburg, which is like wine country out here. Yeah. Which, Cause that would have been like awesome. It was a good thing you did not because I had a, I had a client in fr that went Fredericksburg. Well, I, t I told you in total. Class, she's like, the experience was amazing being there and everything leading up to it, but to actually see no total no. cloud coverage. Yeah. So I, yeah. this is, this was my game plan. I'm like, now that I have permission, the world's my oyster. I, I was prepared to drive to Maine. I kid you not. I was ready, right? 
Because I had the permission. I'm like, I got to figure out where I can possibly go where there's not going to be clouds. So, again, before the weather reports came out, uh, Fredericksburg, Austin, Dallas, right? But then that was all going to be cloudy, and they were saying, you know, like if you go to Dallas, yes, it's closer. It might open up here or there, but uh, you're not going to get, like, the full experience, and maybe it won't open up. So Dallas was out of the picture. So now I'm like watching the Weather Channel. I'm watching the the Fox Weather Channel. So there's the yeah. Weather Weather Channel. Yeah. The, the OG Weather Channel. Then there's a Fox Weather Channel. There's a new Weather Channel. Oh. There's two Weather Channels. I don't know. Watching I, yeah. both of them. Every radar you could possibly think is up, right? So the night before, talk, talking about how I was just going off on Denise. How she just makes herself not sleep. Like, I knew it was going to be a really long day, yeah. but I couldn't go to bed because... You're excited? No, because oh. I didn't know where to go. And I'm running like anywhere that was close by was completely covered in clouds. So I was supposed to leave the house at 3. I didn't leave till 4 because I slept for like two hours, got up, still looking like for updated weather, looking at the radars. That took like another hour. So at 4 o'clock, I'm like, F it. I'm just going to start going north and see what happens. Like... I'm wasting too much time. I'm going to miss this thing. I got to get in the car. I got to go up north. Go so north. my original Great. idea was Texacana. And with that, I will throw to a little video compilation oh. of how everything played out. Perfect. Morning. Happy Eclipse Day to you. Unless you're not into science and, uh, you know, cool stuff. Uh, I'm driving up to Texacana. I'm going to pass it, hopefully, maybe into Arkansas. The weather conditions look pretty good, so got up pretty early right now. It's like 5.30, getting some gas back on the road. Pray for me that the clouds clear up. It's looking pretty good. And then severe storms right after, they're saying, so maybe I'll see an eclipse and a tornado today. I'll keep you posted. I'm currently peeing in the middle of a... Ew! Nowhere. I couldn't find a gas station. I don't know what to tell you. So okay. I'm doing a little update. How are you? Uh, you know, I'm trying to save on time here. I got to get back on the road. I'm in Arkansas, middle of uh, nowhere, Arkansas. I got to figure out if I'm. Are you asking me how I'm holding? Holding both. Well, like this. What? Really? Yeah. I swear to God, I was ping. You go to the original video on Facebook, you can that's, hear me ping. That's not a good look right there. I just keep going. Uh, go to Little Rock or this other place called The Queens, I think it's called. Uh, but I'm getting some, look, you see that? A little bit of clearing in the sky. I can't risk it here, though, so I got I to gotta keep it moving. So hold on. All right, I'm done. I'm done doing that. I'll let you just uh, enjoy a moment of zen with the cows. <sighs> Guess what? The Queens? The, the Queens? I think that's what it's called, Arkansas. Covered in clouds. Whole thing covered in clouds. I got to just keep on driving. That was, by the way, like 150 miles uh -huh. after the last check-in. Oh, my So God. when I say to Queens, yeah. what you don't realize is that I'm like, you know, 150 miles, there was like breaks in the cloud when I was speeding, yeah. right? I'm like, you know, 150 miles when I get to the, it's going to be great. I get there, complete overcast, complete overcast now. Now I'm like six hours away from the house. Uh, next stop is... Mina, Arkansas, that's where I'm headed to, but I'm also seeing a lot of cops out here, and it's not Texas anymore, so I can't be going 90, so now I'm, you know, 55. <sighs> this is a journey is what I'm saying. This is a journey. Totality or bust. Let's go. Check it out. Look at this patch that I just found. And look. All blue. Boom. Oh, ho. We done did it! We done did it! I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh, the setup is uh, janky oh, as ever, and I, I'm in I'm in a coat right now because I've gotten bit so many. Oh Jesus! I just got bit right there. I got ticks on me. I didn't think about the bugs, is what I'm saying. But uh, capturing the eclipse, awesome spot. Nobody around. I mean, you know, so far it's a win-win. This is so worth the frickin' drive, whatever happens on the way back. It's back, baby! The sun is back! So are the bugs, so, so is the jacket, because they came out. They went to bed for like five minutes, and you could see the stars or planets. Woo! This was well worth the drive. Wish me luck. I gotta go back now. Nine hours back to Houston through tornadoes or saying severe weather. I'm hoping they're just trying to, you know, clickbait. Trying to get the clicks. Oh, shit. Your boy's day has gone to the shitter. 
This is me right now, just trying to make it back. I still got like three hours and 48 minutes. Uh, I've been traveling for four hours. If you know anything about me, you know that I do not like lightning, and it's all around me. Speaking of things all around, I'm in the middle of a tornado watch. Oh, a God. warning? Well, one of the two. Were the conditions are right for it? Yeah, that's my life right now. Uh, my day is uh, just really took a dive, a nose dive. It's like a one out of ten right now. A point five. Look at this. Look at all the water. My, my dude's moving a mattress. What are you doing? Oh, no. No, sir. Cover it, bro. Oh, it's Get soaked. a tarp or something. Let's just Look, go I can't even. I got to have on. these on. This is how wet it is. But my dude's moving a mattress. No. Your boy's back. Yeah, how many of y'all didn't think I was going to make it? Come on. Come on. It's 11.42. I left this morning at 4 a.m. I don't know how truckers do it. <laughs> Respect if you're a trucker. You crazy. Because my back hurts. My neck hurts. And you know how the song goes. <laughs> I'm delirious. But thanks for watching the videos. Good night. Yeah. That, wow. that was. Whoa. <laughs> uh, a couple things. The dude driving, because I, I posted some of these videos on Facebook, if not all of them, but like um, uh, the dude driving with the mattresses, right? Yeah. Like that weather was predicted. One of the things yes. I was terrified about was like, all right, I'm going to get to this eclipse. Like I'm not going to miss it. But on the way back, they're saying it's going to be really, really, really bad, right? And it, you couldn't like avoid some kind of, I mean, everybody was talking about how bad it was going to be. So this dude in front of me was moving like, all of his belongings. I'm like, what are you doing? Uh, Dude, mean, spend like 20 bucks on a tarp. Put a tarp up there if you're moving your mattress. What are you doing? Yeah, that's going to be soaked. And, soaked. and then when, at uh, what point right. does it dry out and does it sink? Mm. The scariest thing, and I don't know. Oh. I still haven't looked it up, but the scariest thing, and it, I had to have Denise. Yeah, we were on the phone for like yeah. what, an hour and a half till my phone died. Like, uh, I, I got, yeah, I got home, uh, which I wasn't a fan of. I had to take, but anyway. An hour and a half, and you were almost in tears. Like, you were freaking it was, out. It was. Th this is the thing. It's one It's one thing, like, to be driving through bad weather during the daytime because you can kind of, like, see stuff unless, like, the rain's coming at you real hard, right? But at night, you have no idea if there's, like, a tornado next to you. You just don't know. And at one point, I'm driving, and I still don't know what the F this was. I have. I need to, I need to spend some time and look it up, and I, I, I just haven't. Um, but I'm driving, and I the lightning's already freaking me out, but it's normal lightning until... Until this one, like, there was, like, two or three in a row to my left to where it freaked me out so much that I didn't even want to look because it wasn't, like, normal lightning. I don't know how to describe it. It was, like, red fire. It, it looked like fire lightning. Like, it wasn't the, the normal color. It was either, like, a really deep orange or red. And I don't know if it, that's because it was, like, wrapped in a, cl in a cloud. Like, I don't know what the F was going on. But I'm driving, and I swear to God, I'm, like, this close to pooping my pants. Oh, my God. This close. Yeah. Yeah. I do want to play for you. So um, this, you saw the janky setup. <laughs> this was the actual video. I got it done. I haven't even posted this yet. Got it done today. Yay! Uh, this, what, the ex being there was definitely, like, I would have done that drive, like, times two, times three for that four minutes, right? Um, but then... I was able to get this video and that I can always look back. And what made this one so damn special, and so different, was like you could see even with a bare naked eye, you could see like the the plasma shooting from the from the sun, which is to me is like it's just insane. Like it's one thing to see the atmosphere, which you can never see until the moon's in the way, but then it just I think because it was so active, it just looked like a giant black hole was floating in the sky. It's something that you'll is by far the most beautiful terrifying, impressive thing that I will ever, I mean, I don't want to say ever because maybe we'll go to a different, another one. Yeah. Not that it's coming back in the, in the States for like 20 years and the way that I'm going, I'm going to be out of here in 20 years. But I could tell you up until today, that I've never seen anything as impressive, ever. Period. The end. This is the video uh, from the red camera. Here you go.
I almost want to cry right now. Eight hour drive to get here. Cloudy the entire way, right? I find this one little small patch. It stayed sunny. There's clouds all around me. Can you, can you see the snakes? God, I don't know if you could see them. This is the coolest thing. Uh, Denise hasn't seen it yet, so she's trying to watch it from the from the replay that we're uh, that we're doing. But um, it's hard to describe how. Like I know we saw the 2017 yeah. one, but I'm telling you, it doesn't like the video doesn't do it justice. Like the iPhone videos definitely doesn't do it justice. But like even like uh, uh you know, and to be able to to me, to be able to get something like that from just for me to be able to get something like that that's that's insane like that we're living in a in a day and age to where there's lenses and things that us you me can get a video or something that you know and then the experience oh my god like i mean i forgot about uh the the shadow bands so what a shadow band is i think i called it a snake what that is is like if you're in a pool and you look at the bottom of the pool if the sun is and you see those little uh, lines in the pool because of the water. Yeah. It's kind of like that because there's only a little bit of sun left at the very. So it's like 60 seconds right before it happens. It just looks like there's all these kind of shadow band, little snakes, little shadowy snakes. And I'm in the middle. Like, I know a lot of people enjoyed it with with hundreds of people around them, which is an experience in of itself. Of course. Yeah. But like being in your cell by yourself and like in the middle of nowhere. And I mean, middle of nowhere, Arkansas. Like nobody around, and then that stuff happens, and then yeah, it's just, it is the. I'll say it again. So it's uh, it's the most imp the people that like this isn't like to convince anybody because like I've given up on trying to convince people of what to like. I don't think you need to, to go out of there. I know. don't think convince. I know, I but it's you, just like it's an it's you, part of me gets annoyed when people are like, oh, I don't get like Tony today was like, oh, I don't get the hut. Well, just I'm like, share it with them. Just to be, just to see uh -huh. that. Just, nothing else, there's nothing else that you can possibly see that's that beautiful, impactful, um, epic, that changes everything. That changes everything. Because you're used to, like, seeing the sun. You're used to, like, uh, uh, a twilight or the moon or whatever. But, like, when something like that happens, it, there's just, I don't even know how to describe it. It's it's just magical. It's it was the best four minutes, probably of my life. Oh, well, next to you know, yeah, I was gonna saying say, I do and I was stuff. Say, wait a minute, wait and a banging minute. two months ago. Uh -huh. But beyond all that, oh my god, yeah. like it was. You, uh, producer Ely has a comment for you if you want to. Oh, uh, it's talking it, shit. What no, is he saying? No, well no. done, nerd. <laughs> yeah, if that makes me a nerd, bro, then yeah. I'll be a nerd. You know, <laughs> top nerd. I mean. Yeah. God, you still seem like you're... I, yeah. I, it was the best thing. The best thing, absolutely. And then, and then did the was, drive suck? 100% it yeah. did, but at but, the end of the day... But you also told me that like you... I mean, we've never been to Arkansas, but you said it was actually like... I liked Arkansas. Really? I didn't know what to expect. Uh, and yeah. Then, uh, we, had, uh, we were hanging out with uh, a new friend that just moved to Houston. Yeah. This dude... I was thinking to myself, is he escaping some, some shit? Because he's lived like in like nine, ten different cities. I mean, I know he said so for a job, but I'm like, yo, you're running from something. I got my eye on you, kid. Be, but be, he, be honest, how many cities have you lived in? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Maybe I'm running from stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but he was telling me that um, it, it's a good state, but like because of how the drugs were transported throughout the country to, to keep your head on a swivel. Uh -huh. My personal experience with the state was um, it kind of reminded me of like the North Georgia mountains yeah. where it was very, it wasn't mountains, but it wasn't hills. Somewhere in between. Um, it was beautiful. It was very, very, it, I mean, it was awesome. The cops. Oh, shit, the cops. Uh, let me tell you something. You ever driving through Arkansas? Watch your watch your speed because those motherfuckers are pulling each other over. Oh, dude, I've never seen. I drove through Texas yeah. ninety miles per hour. Somehow ended up in like uh, Louisiana ninety miles per hour. Didn't see I didn't see a cop until I switched over to Arkansas, and then at least twenty people in the span of like the two and a half hours that yeah. I was driving in the state. 20 people were pulled over, and then I can't tell you how many other cop cars were just like, like, dude, you guys are making your quarter today. Oh, for sure. Yeah. You're, Everywhere I mean, headed like, that direction. Yeah. Really? I guess if you're in Arkansas, what's really the crimes, maybe? But I'm like, yo, take it easy. All these people are trying to go, unless somebody's going crazy, but I've never seen so many people pulled, pulled over. Pulled over. Huh. Never. Yeah. Love the state, though. It seemed like a place that I want to go hike, kind of mountainous. The yeah. rivers look pretty. Yeah. Nice place. 
The bugs were fucking crazy. You, like were when they, I wait, like mosquito bugs? Were they really ticks? Like I whoa. saw some stuff that I was like, I think it's a tick. Ooh. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Huh. I don't know what I was looking at. I'm not a bug expert, but it wasn't just mosquitoes. Yeah. Uh, and then, like when I left because I had all the doors open to get the lenses and everything. Uh, when I left, Are they in the car. There were like ten, and then I couldn't get them out. Like I. Oh some God. of them made it back to Houston. Ew, and I'm driving. No, you're like a first three hours. First Lord. three hours, I'm having all the windows down to try to get them to fly out. They wouldn't fly out of the fucking car. So then the rain started coming down, the tornadoes and stuff. Yeah. So I had to roll the windows up, and now I've got like five flies just everywhere. Oh it was the worst thing ever. Distracted. But again, as you said, that you yeah. would do this like all over again in oh, a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. In a yeah. heartbeat. It was, uh, it was, it was incredible. There's one coming up in Alaska. There's, there, I know the next one is, uh, the next one I really want to uh, somehow make it to because it's like Spain and then it does a lot of the ocean, but then it's like Iceland, yeah. which you've deprived me of going. Oh, okay. Really? I, yeah. I, I just apparently allowed you to go to Arkansas. Yeah, you so, did. Yeah, you did. I appreciate that. Bit. <sighs> it was, it was, uh, I mean, so many people like loved your journey. I, and I told PK that like, you, you go, but when you go, you need to make sure you're doing your, oh updates. yeah. That's the only reason that I was doing <laughs> updates is because I'm like, who, nobody cares. And she's Everyone like, cares. if you don't do updates, you can't fucking go. Everyone oh cares. God, like I even Jesus. had, like you guys know, like part of the show, silly Jilly, she texts me. She's like, PK's stories are epic. I'm looking forward to his next update more than these, this eclipse. And I'm like, oh, dude, I'm driving and I'm, I, I might have YouTube TV up on the car no, and I'm switching no. by the weather channel and the other one and i'm like i don't know where to go still because it's so cloudy after like six hours of driving still cloudy and then there's a report about like one of the girls is middle of arkansas and it's clear and i'm like well fuck it we're going there so i'm like Woo! you say where Skirt. are you yeah. uh yeah yeah mm. me and my dreams we're going there Aww. and i almost made it to her but there was a mountain in uh in, in between. the way a mountain so in i the just way? i got as close <laughs> as i could and then really that's what uh that's what did it so yeah. uh yeah it was uh it was pretty freaking epic I'll just say that right. pretty freaking up. Let's uh, we got to jump into Wine Wednesday. I can't believe we haven't done this oh. yet. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's Denise's Wine Wednesday. She don't know nothing about wine except that it make her feel good. Oh yeah, no credentials. Denise's Wine Wednesday. The following information gonna be pointless. Oh yeah. She don't even remember the wine tasting she's been to. Why, girl? Yeah, wine Thursday. Oh, shit, it is Thursday. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's see you open it up. All right, this is exciting, and I really didn't want to open it, but I did save it for our podcast. I'm just letting this ride out. If you're listening to the show, shout out to you. But uh, you might want to check out this video that happens at 44 minutes into the show. And uh, you'll find it on PKNDK.com. Ah, I did it. It's not that complicated. There's two <laughs> notches on that. For being such a wino, I can't believe that you still don't know how that works. For being somebody that made fun of the ride for all those years, you're not much better. <laughs> you know what? Like one of my first gigs when I was like... 18, I hope it wasn't opening up wine. 18, 19. No, it's when I worked for Rockstar. They had other distributions and they're like, okay, so you're going to go to the store and you're going to sample wine. And again, I was like 19. And then they gave me this wine cork, this looking thing. And I was like, huh? I was like, I don't know anything. I'm sure, like this thing. I don't know anything about wine. People are going to come up to you. Does it taste like, I don't know, feet? <laughs> like, I have no clue. But thankfully, uh, they couldn't find the wine. So they sent me home. <laughs> Funny story. Anyway, Wine uh, okay. Wednesday. Wine Wednesday. This one is really important. <laughs> <laughs> so this wine, I don't know. It's a funny story. <laughs> what? Oh, Here's funny. the cardinal rule. If you have to tell people it was a funny story, <laughs> it probably not. was not. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. I'm really excited about this because like um, this wine is special. It actually came from a client of mine. So as yes, PK, I'm so sorry. I missed a lot of our dinners, but a client gave me wine yesterday. The fuck is that uh, about? So she told me that she like, like ordered a oh, bunch she. of, they ordered a bunch of wine and then remembered I was from Oregon and thought that maybe I'd like it. I was like, oh, oh my nice God. I was like, Oregon, Pinot Noir, Willamette Valley. I'm like, I'm from Willamette Valley. She's like, that's how you say it. Willamette. We all were saying it wrong. I'm like, oh, you should have asked me. I'm the expert of wine, except for I'm not. <laughs> Never ending story. None for me. 
for you. Oh, come on. What you played the, the hell? never ending story that always cuts us off. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. All right. Anyway, Oregon, Pinot Noir, they are known in the Dundee Valley, Willamette Valley for their amazing grapes. So smell it. Very light wine. Um, this one is from Avrian. It says, I don't know. Uh, you get a little taste test? Go ahead. And uh, happy uh, Wine Thursday to you. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate you. There you go. A little cheers for you if you're in the chat. Appreciate you. No, this one actually, it smells good. Okay. What did you think about tasting well, it? I haven't tasted it yet. Okay, so swirl. I'm just waiting for you, yeah. Cheers. Does it smell good to you? Because your nose says it, it smells smells like socks, if I'm being honest. Like dirty oh. socks with holes in the heels. Oh my god! Oh, it's good. Oh my god, that's okay. amazing! Oh my god, I need to get them. I just need to like a, a little clothespin for the. No, no, uh, no! no. The this is delicious. This is amazing. I'm not gonna get them to be a sponsor after I'm like, oh, it smells like socks. No. <laughs> Come be a sponsor. No, but ideal growing climate. Oh my with god, that is actually winds pretty good. Blow from the nearby Pacific Ocean in the mix of ancient volcanic soils. Blah 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 blah. blah. Mm. Simple, sustainable farming, hands off winemaking. And a passion for Pinot Noir. This is out of Dundee. That's this actually is pretty amazing. Good. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. All right. If anyone ever needs to get me a birthday gift, I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much it is. How much is it? How much it's like like a hundred dollars or something. Yeah, wow, that's pretty good. That's amazing. Okay. That's pretty good. You good? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if you still wanted to uh... talk more about wine. No. So yeah, yeah. No, I'm good. I'm just I th- I think at this point in the show is where I kind of like have calmed down. Oh. A little bit from like the stressors of the day where I can just like enjoy everything and everybody. So that's all. Cheers. Cheers. Um, let me get to some of these guesses for what's that noise. What's that noise? And let me play for you one more time, uh, just in case you joined us like halfway through the show. But this is the noise we're trying to figure out. And I'm actually really surprised that we haven't had a winner yet because we've had some clues and I, I'm i pretty general by like what what I will accept. So, And I, I think I said that in the very mm-hmm. beginning as well. So I'm really, really surprised that we haven't had a winner. Let's check some guesses right now. What's that noise? DK, DK, this is Jaime from Fresno. What's up, Jaime? Uh, my guess for what's that noise is... Uh, and Denise rocking the bed <laughs> in uh, Hawaii. <laughs> well. Nice slap. <laughs> oh my God. Oh uh, yeah. That's a that's, lot. Uh, it fails. That's, uh, probably not <laughs> that one. Let's, uh, <laughs> by the way, if you got a guess, drop it uh, online, pkndk.com. Go there on your uh, mobile phone. You'll see where it says the, uh, the instant voice note, the Ivan button. Hit that. Your comments will come right to us. I haven't previewed any of these, so we might have a winner okay. tonight. Uh, here's guess number two. This is Terry Williams. Um, so my next guess for the what's it noise is, is it a waterfall? But mixed with like some kind of white noise or green noise to sleep. That's what it sounds like to me. Mm. Okay, love you guys. Bye. Love you back. Bye. Bye. It is not. And uh, it's not like a trick. It's not like a trick sound. Yeah. So I didn't do anything to try to throw you off. Or it's an honest sound that we were like, oh my God, what the hell is it? And because we were like, what the hell is it? You know, we're being very general by yeah. uh, by what's going to win this round of What's That Noise. Uh, here's Modesto. Okay. I'm part of the replay gang, gang, gang this week. So my guesses were skateboard and chopped liver. Ding! There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, Denise, yeah. we would have won. We matched. Oh, no, I'm Don't sorry. Don't worry about sorry. it. See, I haven't, I haven't previewed these, but that was for match two, which we oh, are going to play match okay, two coming okay, up okay, good. in just a little while. So hang somebody. on to that. Yeah. Let me see. We had some guesses that just came in tonight. Uh, here's one right now. And again, I don't even know if this is for What's That Noise, but let's listen to it. Yo, for Yo. What's That Noise, Yeah, come on. it's you recording as you're driving down the road. No, but I would say that that's. Uh, I was like, eh. uh, that's pretty close. 
But that's incorrect, so no, I can't... Uh... That's very, very, very broad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. One more time. Watch, comment, share. Uh, in just uh, a few, uh, always fun to see you lose. Oh my god! Everybody okay. in the chat. How do I always lose? I, I feel like I'm good. I don't know. But yeah. Still thinking about just that. that. I know. Okay, can I, I know. can I yeah. share a story? Oh God, yeah. So while you were out living your best life with the eclipse, I had the sweetest message that came to my phone. Hmm? Huh? I said, "Hmm." Yeah, and it was. She's in the chat. Honeybee. Oh, honeybee. Taryn and I want to come say hi, and they were right next to my work. And I was like, yeah, of course. Like, I'm available whenever. So I got to meet Taryn, honeybees. Yeah. Baby, eight month old. Aww. The sweetest. Did uh, you make that baby cry as well? Thing? No. You're, you're very no. good at that. In fact, like, ah! in fact, like, I mean, we didn't have even enough time at all, but it, like, it made my entire like week because like she thought it thought of me and it's like I want you to meet her. And I was like, oh my God, absolutely. Like, I can't believe we haven't at this point. You have to come to me with your baby. But it just was like incredible, and we took. Did you see our pictures? I did. Yeah, yeah. took pictures and just like still did not convince you to have a baby though, huh? I mean, at that point, I was mm -hmm. like, okay, I'm pretty good with children. Uh, oh, I, that's what she I don't told know me. About that. That's no, what she told me. She's no. like, she always, she's like, stranger, you're not the sleep master. She's like, stranger danger. Yeah, the recent. Oh, anyway, I just want to thank you, honeybee, for like taking the time out of your day to coming to honestly like make my day. Like I was in awe, and I was so happy and i just wanted to share that that's all that's all i know that you're being silly but i'm not being silly and by the way um she wants to get another dog now yeah so there goes so having that. a kid she wants to get another dog I said I wanted and i'm like anybody that's trying to first. get rid of a cute dog that means to me that there's something going on with the dog. Mm -hmm. So if we're going to, we, I cannot agree to this transaction. Yeah. So this happened all like very last minute on Sunday. Um, producer Elia's sister was like, oh, I know well, I someone. I wasn't going to say who, but there well, you go. No, no, no. no. Right. no she, already, she posted it on her Facebook account. So it's like public knowledge. But um, she was like, you know, they just don't have enough time, like quality time to spend with the dog. And do you know anyone interested? I said, yeah, me. I, I'm like, I should have asked PK first, but I was like, honestly, like we've been talking about another dog before. A it's a Yorkie. The thing is cute. Very my cute. my whole Three thing is, is like, even if he's a terror, if we watch the dog for like a weekend, I'm probably going to say yes. Uh, the other thing that uh, that comes to my mind is like, if you have Yorkies aren't really cheap. So if you have one uh, and they're very cute, there's got to be something that it's doing that kind of want you to offload so you're trying to find a good home there's something i don't know fishy. Yep. please correct me if you think i'm wrong drop me an instant voice note if you're listening to uh, in this uh, in the replay gang 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 uh later on or whatever i'd love to hear from you but um do you think like they don't want any kind of money or anything they just wants a good home for just this a, dog a good he's a wire eater He's uh, another Teddy. I know. I know in the chat, you guys were asking uh, Teddy where Teddy is. Yeah. Teddy doesn't come in here because it's too loud for him. And <laughs> yeah. He, you know. at, at this point, Teddy, you know, at 14 and some months. Teddy like, will not approve. You're right. He I won't know. approve. And, and like, that was the first thing I was like, you know, before anything, before I make any promises, I need to have like a meeting. And if Teddy says no, then it's a no. And I mean, he, poor Teddy. Teddy's going to be fine. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about this thing being another Teddy. I can't have two terrors. Okay. Only one terror at a time. A I, saying you get rid of a dog, and when you have a baby, that's a legit reason. They don't have a baby, though. They mm -hmm. just don't have the time. And I'm like, you didn't have the time when you got the dog. So what the F did... 
something drastically change. And if that's the case, then, then yes, I would love to offer uh, a happy home for a for a sweet dog, yeah. but I can't have another teddy. Yeah. Oh man, it's like I'm walking down the I know. road. Even even the neighbors are avoiding us. I know. I feel like I've lost connection with all of our neighbors because they're like, oh, we're all hanging out with the dogs, and I'm like, I got teddy, and then they're, and bye. They're like, oh. You're right. Uh, try it out from Anita. Uh, that's my my whole thing was like, look, I don't mind trying it out, but we have to have a, a way out of. The situation, yeah. right? So you've got to be like, hey, you can't go into the triad without some kind of way that we can get out of it. Otherwise, we're stuck. So mm -hmm. it's, we have to be like, well, Teddy didn't like him or, you know, yeah. so maybe that's. I, I mean, it's for sure. It is yeah. what, what, what Teddy is like. He's, you know, he's the owner of the house, I guess. Give the puppy point. a chance. I agree with you. I, I am the biggest dog lover that you will find. Yeah. I just can't do another Teddy where it's just like, oh, I'm telling you. I mean, There's new neighbors I've never <laughs> met. New people that moved into our in, into our subdivision that yeah. somehow somebody told them about us <laughs> oh, and they, they see us and they and go they'll, the other way. <laughs> they turn around and I'm like, what the f? I know, and I was like, I love to meet people. Am I on no the one, Facebook page? Nobody wants to talk to us. What's yeah, happening? I know. Uh, so many COVID people got dogs. I don't think they're COVID people though. But for it's a three newer. Years, oh, oh, maybe it was. You think it's a COVID dog? I'm um, now they're realizing like, oh my God, that could potentially be because now they are going back yeah, to work because that was Karina's a thing that saying. they just don't have time to spend. That's exactly what Green says. Yeah. Decided that they don't have time. Um, when our uh, dogs were getting elderly, we would uh, get a third. So when the elder passed away, the young one was uh, grieving. Look, I agree. I'm there to help. I just, I was tricked. And I love Teddy to death, but I was tricked. You weren't tricked. We knew about Teddy. And I'm Teddy. like, I need a dog that like gets along with other dogs yeah, and is social need, and, I, uh, you know, I, I, yeah. We need a, we need another Kiki. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Um, you want to leave so we can play a little match yeah, too? Yeah, I can go. Let's get that going right now. Uh, all right. So the rule is this. It's a very simple rule. Do not drop in your words until you get both of mine. And I'm going to do a favor or me, maybe me a favor i'm gonna give you both of the words real quick all right all right we're gonna go with i hope i didn't do these i'm looking at my old notes so i'm hoping i didn't let's go with saturday first word is saturday somebody tell me if i've done this uh done the second one liver saturday and liver did i do liver last week i don't think i did chat let me know real quick and i'll switch it up but saturday and liver if I haven't, drop both of your words right now in the chat. She's going to come back. I'll give her the words. We'll see if anybody matches with her. Again, we're playing for fun. Here we go. Ah, uh, yes, you did do liver. All right, let me switch up liver. Wonder. Have I done wonder? Let's do wonder. Saturday and wonder. All right? That's an easy one. I feel like wonder is a really easy one. Saturday could be kind of... All right. Saturday, wonder, go. Everybody's agreeing with me. If she doesn't get this, though, this will be. Yeah, if she doesn't get this one, it'll be a whole new law. I'll give you a few more minutes and then I'll bring her in. You know, I have to. Um, it's crazy to me, but like the, the wine that smelled like dirty socks tasted pretty good. Really weird. It's like you you want something to smell good and taste good, but, uh, you know, very, very weird. Oh, Teddy! Oh. There he is! There he is! Oh, no. There he is! Oh. Did you pee in here? No. Gotta close the door. Okay, he doesn't want to pee in here. Okay, well, uh, I think we're pretty ready to go, so do not look at the chat. Okay. I'm okay. watching your eyes. Don't be a freaking cheat. I'm never yeah, right. You ready? Saturday. Saturday. Sunday. Up to the microphone, stupid. Shoot. Saturday weekend. Uh, Saturday, Sunday. Saturday. I mean, weekend. Everyone knows Saturday is the weekend. Lock sure you're not going to go for Sunday? Lock me in for weekend. Weekend? All right, you finally got a point on the board. Finally got a point. So you're freaking me Look out. Look at that.
Who said Sunday? Somebody said Sunday in there. I was like, oh, you're only going to match with Anita. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. All right, so a lot of people did say, uh, wait, you said weekend? Oh, shit, no. You did say weekend, right? Uh, what did you say? I didn't. What? Did I not get it? No, you got it, but you said weekend, right? Yeah. Okay, because the the most popular one was night. Okay. A lot of people said night. Honey, I can't. One he, person. He's so shit. So we'll go sweet. put him in the other room. See, that's what happens when you bring him in here. This is the work outfit she looks like. That's a mom. Yeah, he kept pitching my butt today. Yeah, you have a nice butt. You can't complain about me not wanting to, you know, and then I'm pitching your butt. Yeah, I know. At like okay. 7 in the morning. So cute. All right. So uh, I think you you only matched with, with one. Uh, yeah, because you said weekend, right? Oh, uh, everybody said night. Oh, God. God, everybody. Jesus. Party. Oh, my God. Everybody said night. Yeah. All right. So uh, you're, you're only playing with Anita right now. Let's go, Anita. <laughs> God, I'm terrible. Wonder. Wonder. Is your wonder wall. That's a song, Wonder Wall. Wonder. Wonderland. I don't know, it's gotta be someone from like Pacific Northwest. Wonder Bra? Wonder Bra! That's a good one. Wonder why? Wonder. Wait, I'm sorry, you did say weekend, right? Not not Sunday. Hold on. I said weekend. Now you got me all uh Discompobulated. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, no, I thought you... Did you say Sunday or weekend? I said both, but... But which one did you lock in? I'm pretty sure weekend. Weekend, okay. Oh, so, so apologies. You're actually playing with Leroy. Okay. So go. Leroy wouldn't say bra. Oh, it does that matter now. Wonder... Come on. Wonder wall. That is a song, yeah. Lock me in for a wall. Jesus Christ. Really? That's... Are you just trying to lose, or... What's your second guess? Nah, Tom said wall. Stop it. Other people said wall. Who said wall? Hold on. I'm looking, uh... Damn. I do not... Where? Everyone says, damn it, Denise. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> One more time. No. Like, where's my fault? Damn it, Denise. 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 Jesus, Wonder no. Bread. Bread. Wonder Bread oh, would have got you the God. win. Oh. Everybody was saying, I think bread was the most popular answer that I'm looking through there. I said, Zach said bread. Uh, Leroy, obviously. Uh, Mimi. Wonder Bread. Corrine. Bread is a, is, a, is a huge one. Wonder Wall. I don't see one wall. Where did you see the wall? Tom said wall. Tom, 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 I'm trying to go... He said night and wall. Saturday night and wall. Okay, fine, y'all. All yeah, right. I, I screwed it. Oh, oh. We're going to have to get more people to, to contribute to the Damn It, Denise. So if you want to drop me an instant voice note, please feel free. Damn it, Denise. Damn it, Denise. Damn it, Denise. Denise. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Oh, my God. What do we got going on this weekend? Well, I think you know what we got going on this weekend. I know. I do. We're going to a, a friend's birthday party. Yeah. We're good friends, right? I feel yeah. like we're decent yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we're we had a lot more money, we'd be better friends. But, uh, yeah. you know, you got to yeah. we're, do what you can do. We're traveling back for like a day to the ATL. It's going to be a short, sweet, fun, packed trip. And uh, If you work late and I have to miss the flight, <laughs> peace. I'm out. I'm already checked in. I know. Um, But I'm saying, like, I heard that. Because we're going to take MARTA. And uh, MARTA, by the way, is like the transportation from the Atlanta airport. But I heard that they no longer have it going on until like May 19th or something because there's construction or MARTA's doing something. So they're offering like bus shuttles. But some of the bus shuttles are like those pimp out. I don't know. Like it's Atlanta. So I'm not surprised no, at all. I'm not like either. the stripper buses. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not surprised I was like, is there at all. ATL, ho. I was like, no matter. Not be surprised. I feel like no matter what we do, we always wind up getting or something like we get into something crazy. Well, you don't have to try hard in Atlanta. So I know. I know, uh, we're going to see what happens. But yeah. yes, 24 hours uh, in, the in the ATL. Welcome back to the ATL. I can come pick you up. See, that's what I'm Aww, talking about, Corrine. You guys are so sweet. See, we don't have to be in a stripper bus. <laughs> yeah.
That's true. I'll keep you posted. Let me <laughs> let me find out how things work out. Yeah. I might have to take you up on I that. Know. I know. I yeah. know. It's, it really all depends on like the time that you can get off and like yeah. when we ask because we might have to move the flight to get in later and like it's it's uh I you know, know. I know. You gotta learn boundaries. I know. Boundaries. I'm trying. I am, boundaries. I'm trying. I don't think so. I know. Today you were gonna be out at five thirty. Here we are. I had show I, started like eight fifteen. Okay, we already talked about it at the top of the show. I had a few little like psh, psh, things that I tried yeah. to extinguish, and uh, that's just how it goes. She says, "Yeah, that's just uh, how it goes. so it should be interesting." We'll, um, you know, maybe we'll record something out in the uh, in the ATL. I and was, yes. like, and you guys know, like um, our friends Jeff and Leah, because all of those that are in Atlanta, like they came. To how about Jay that Jeff, motherfucker? And who's the motherfucker? That bitch. What do you mean, Jeff? Call him. Call no, him. No, I'm not call calling him right now. Call no. him and tell him that. No. So I'm driving back from the eclipse, and uh, he used to be a meteorologist for the Weather Channel. The dude is like legit, like he can read, you know, he sees a radar. I'm guessing, which by the way, I've learned that like I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Because I'm like, oh, I'll be out of this in five minutes. And like, gee, yeah. awful. So I call him up. I'm like, hey, man, should I go through Dallas? Should I go straight down? There's like a big line of storms coming. What do you think? He was like, man, just go straight down. You'll be out of it in like 15 minutes. Just, you'll be fine. Just drive forward 15 minutes. Mm. I was in that shit for two hours. Uh -huh. Lightning, crazy lightning coming down. Shit spinning. Oh, hell no. Nah. You know why? He was really busy that night. Yeah, he was watching a, and then he was like, uh, I forgot to uh, look at the radar because I'm watching a uh, Yukon. Uh, yeah, that's his team. That's where bro, he went. Bro, I'm, I'm fixing to die, bro, and you're watching a basketball game? A basketball game. It was the, like, top, uh, the championship. And I'm about won. to die. And they won. Don't be another championship his, game. His team back to back. I mean, oh, yeah, they, they already won? I mean, what the F? Look at the radar. <laughs> What's up? You got an iPad, bitch. Open up the iPad. Watch the game. Just have an iPad. And you see some shit. Be like, yo, PK, make a right. Mm. You can avoid this twister coming down. Make a right. You're the, you're the meteor guy. <laughs> what the hell? I think we, we technically call him the bootleg meteorologist. For yeah, no shit. There you go. I was going <laughs> to strip that title from him, but no, he definitely gets the title uh, back. Yeah, we definitely got to get him back on. Bananas, man. I'm in there like white knuckling, like pooping my pants. Ew. Don't know what's happening. I got to be on the phone with... This is how scared I was. I was on the phone with Denise. Yeah. Like, don't stop talking to me. Yeah. Because you'll know I'm dead if I <gasps> oh my stop God. talking. Jesus and then she kept saying, well, you sound like a robot now. I'm like, all right, you can just hang up on me if that's no. your... No excuse to get off the phone. No, it wasn't because like all of a sudden like the signal or something and it, it was like crinkly and like I'm like, PK, hey, I don't know what mm -hmm. you're going through. It is not me. It is you, but mm -hmm. not good. Watching a game. Speaking uh -huh. of games, I do got, a, you know, some some credit. Like, uh, how about the I never thought I'd ever watch. This is just me being honest. I never thought I'd watch a WNBA game. I also never thought I'd watch a college football game. And you know how big of a football. W uh, call it whatever the final four, the the women's final four. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, this comes from the guy, so you gotta you gotta have expectations. I never thought I'd watch a college football game because I'm like, why would I just watch the NFL? And then I understood. I started, you know, uh, learning and understanding and evolving, and I'm like, oh, college football is the shit. Uh, but the same thing with like you know the final four. I never watched final four. Period. Men's or women's. Mm -hmm. Much less did I thought I was gonna watch a women's game. And shit, the LSU and uh, Iowa. Iowa, Caitlin Clark. Mm -hmm. There you go. That game was, oh my God, that was like yeah. more interesting than, I mean, she was just woof from like half, wow. I was like, have they said where she's going for WNBA? I don't know. But, I don't uh, know but I will watch. She's I was very impressed. impressive. I, was impre I yeah. mean, just uh, the, the gameplay in that game was something I didn't expect. And I know that it set all kinds of records. And, like, obviously everything's going to have haters, you know, but it was fucking impressive. It was very, very It was impressive, it was yeah. Fun to watch. I know you had some work to do, so you came up here to work on the laptop, and I'm like, yo, what are you doing? I know. There's still, like, 60 seconds. Yeah, what are we doing? Like, Come on. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty impressive. What else happening in the news? OJ died. Yeah. So and everybody's like, oh, he was such a fucking great football player. Wait, and I'm like, can, can we I, forgot he murdered somebody. I was like, can it, can, like, I saw, like, I had an alert on my phone because I, I don't often check my phone at work, but then I saw it, OJ Simpson, and then I actually went to X. Twitter and I was like wait is it the OJ Simpson like what other OJ Simpsons I don't know another OJ Simpson I didn't, I didn't know he had cancer well I, I don't keep up with my OJ news uh, unless yeah. I need like advice on a knife oh, okay yeah but then I felt bad because poor Chloe was then trending in Kris Jenner oh really well you know why 
I uh, I have no idea. Because people thought that OJ, like that Chris Jenner had an affair with OJ, and that's actually her dad. Okay. But I don't care about any of that. Didn't, but I he killed some, saying, somebody. Well, yeah, of course. Okay. That's All right. It, well, yeah. well, and well, I don't know, but so she, people just forgot that, and everybody's just talking about what a great football. Maybe he was a great football player. I don't know, but like, yo, you gotta, you know, like, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, that did come out of red field. Like, I didn't expect. That death to happen, you know, like in the beginning of the year, you always do celebrity deaths. You don't expect that one. You do, like you. Well, you always like assume that some people mm-hmm. probably are running out of time. I didn't, that one kind of like leapfrogged some other ones is all I'm saying. Okay. I had no clue at all. And that's again why I was like, wait, the OJ? I'm like, huh. Yeah. Huh. I'm uh, just, uh, just checking out the chat as well. Yeah. Apple juice is better. Apple juice from Mimi. Uh-huh. <laughs> I don't know. What other news has been going on lately? I haven't been following. Honestly, like, yeah. the OJ thing I missed, like, for half a day. And uh, and that's just, I don't know. I haven't really been following too much, uh, you know. I've just been wrapped into. I th- I feel like, like, once you did your, your like, the Yeah, eclipse. but then I started getting depressed because I'm like, there's nothing else that could possibly match that. Oh, God. Unless, like, you go to a different one. There's nothing else on Earth. There's nothing else that oh, I will to, ever see to in you. my. What about your child, no, not your to me. own child being no. born? What? What? Negative. Oh my god! Then that's exactly because that what puts in perspective on. what a rare um uh, that puts in perspective like the everything around us. It puts in perspective our existence. There's nothing that's that that can do that. There's just nothing. Like and I, I don't. I can't think of anything. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Drop me this in voice note if you think there is something else, but. Uh, yeah. What do you see? Oh, I, I agree, Kareem. This is the weekend to watch golf because Masters are in Augusta. Yeah. And I actually heard the first round was delayed because of weather. But again, like big Masters weekend going on. Uh, did you hear about the hacker who took out North? No. Took out Korea Internet? No. Uh, your own child 100% does that too. That's uh, what I was I saying. Okay. Mr. E. Yep. Sure. But. Uh, sure. Yes. You don't know that experience because you haven't had it yet. It's literally about our own existence. So is, I'm telling you, so is what I experienced. I don't know what I, it's hard for me to put into words. What, but then you how have. About, ex- how about, and okay. I'm not going to say who, how about, oh boy, that thought the world was going to fucking end. <laughs> like, those people, how do they justify being around today? That's somewhat, that's, and, uh, that's and another And how do they not ep- learn that's, from that? That actually. How is, do they not learn from that to be like, you know what, I'm going to be. podcast episode. I'm going to be a little more, um, uh, you know, suspicious or I'm going to use a little more kind of, you know, I'll go a little more back and forth about the next day that the world's okay, going to Okay, well, what, like, did, you talk what to, the F? did you talk to them after and be like, No, because I, I can't have a conversation with that person. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I like the person. Yeah. As a person, he's great. Yeah. But, like, I, I'm not, I, I have gotten to a point in my age that I don't even, I'm not spending the time to debate somebody about the basic shit that's mm-hmm. been discovered how many? Two, three, four hundred years ago? Right. You know what I mean? Like, the basic shit. You're just like, talking I about can debate debating. other stuff. You're talking about debating, not like actually like... I'm talking about if you thought the world was going to end and you're still around, you need to fucking look in a mirror and be like, okay, the next time somebody's going to tell me the world's going to end, I'm going to question it. Mm-hmm. I don't understand why that's so difficult. Because this keeps happening over and over and over again. So here's, here's what I think. I think either these people are trolls and they're just doing it for attention. Two, I feel like they are, they feel like they need to be a part of a group. And that group is not going to say no to anybody. Right. Right. Or what if they just disagree with you just because I they want to disagree? Because it's just, it's basic. Or it's, three, yeah. they're just fucking stupid. That's it. Like, there's no, there's nothing, there's nothing else. So you will not spend, like, what if you had, like, an hour timer, and you guys were on the podcast, and you guys both got to go no, back No, I wouldn't back. spend that time. No, I wouldn't spend that time. Not even one hour. No, no, I wouldn't spend that time. Because those people, you can't give facts to, to be like, okay, yeah, well, you're right. Well, that's fine, but maybe just. They'll always come up with something, but and again, I go back to, all right, well, just, you're a troll. But you're just interested in, like, hearing somebody's perspective. Like I'm, to, to you, normally they're a troll, I am. but to you they're a troll. But to them, maybe I'm fine with debating people about things that um, or learning and understanding where other people come. That's from. That's fine, but if it's fucking basic science that we learned 500 years ago, or however long, 
then no, I'm not. It's a waste no, of time. It's a waste. It's an absolute waste of time. Hundred yeah. percent. If you think the world, you know, ends and you just fall off a fucking cliff, you're on your own. Like oh I'm not spending that kind of time. Okay. Uh, PK is, Plu- uh, is uh, Pluto a planet? That's up for debate. I thought I was considered a planet, but some people are saying it's uh, a not star? a planet. Uh, is it something else? But we know that it's up there. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, that it's round. Why don't I was like, why? Like something in the future we should look into is because there apparently seems to be like a lot of people also interested in what you are and like look forward to your updates. Like we have like a little group that goes like stargazing. See, this is what I got depressed about because I'm like, oh, I think it'd be great to do different adventures. Like like, I would, I I loved driving that eight hours um, with the possibility that I might not see anything, right? Because it was still an adventure. Mm -hmm. There isn't anything else to adventure with like that. There isn't. What is it? What? What else would be that even close to that? So then it's just been like, all right, it's kind of depressing because there's nothing else. Like, what is it? Okay, well, that, that, that's to you. There's a lot of, like, things that excite other people. I, I don't know how to explain, like, your mind, how it works, because it's always got to be the vast, the greatest, the best, and then that's all it is. But, like, there's little things that you can do, like, in life that make you excite. Like, I don't know. Like what? Just uh, going to the ocean. I, I mean, I, oh young my God. kids game. Oh the my ocean. It's yes. gonna bite me. I'm just, jellyfish. I'm just saying, like sea lice. Those are the things that excite Bulgaria. me. Like I would love to be able, like, to drive top down, top off, because I don't have a top. Oh, bad hunting. I don't think I could ever go hunting. Um, I, I don't hate on hunting because I eat meat, so I get it. But I, I just think that I'm too big of a softy. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm just like, uh like, I don't Maybe hate... you yourself need to branch out, not just... I don't know what, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, I'm at a loss. Like, there's nothing... Uh... I think the closest to what I saw was probably the, the view at, uh, in Kauai. Yeah. When we go to, um, to, to uh, at the very end of the road, right? Yeah. That's the closest. Kalalea. But, like, all right, so maybe the Grand Canyon or something, but... Uh, Have you ever been? Grand, Grand Canyon? Canyon? Hell no. I go Hoover, to Vegas. What Hoover, are I go to Grand Canyon I was for? like, Hoover Dam, Niagara Falls, like, all of, like, the national parks. Yeah. Glacier, Banff, uh, I do nature see things. Banff. Yeah, I do want to see Banff. All right, let's uh, let's wrap things up, right? What do you say? Let's wrap things up. Um, anything else that you had on your uh, notes? Unfortunately, I did not have my notes today. Yeah, we both haven't had notes, so we're just kind of like uh, going with it. So we appreciate you guys uh, joining us. Take out bowl- bowling. Come on. Actually, that might be. And you know how bad I am at bowling. I remember, remember the one time we went to bowling and it was tiny balls and I'm like, what the okay, F is they're, this? They're called, they almost kicked me out. It's called duck pin. I hated it's, it. It is very different. And then with real bowling, bowling, I am the worst. It's like one of those sports. It's like mini golf. You think you should be better than you are. Because it's like every easy. once in a while, it's kind of like golf too. Maybe it's every sport, like where you hit something and you're like, oh shit, I'm the, this is, uh, this is my sport. And mm-hmm. then you just can never get back to that. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. Like I uh, like we, we chatted with a, a guy and I think we talked about it on like our Saturday night show that we did a few weeks ago that he does like boxing. And I was like, I really want to get into that because like I did it for a little bit in Atlanta, not like boxing to spar or like to box other people, but just like as a stress relief and to just kind of like learn and like make my brain go in a different direction for like an hour. So I, you know, in the next few weeks, that's what I want to try to do. Disc golf. You're right. I don't know if there's, is there disc golf out here in Houston? But we, Ilya took me out to, it was one of the best things that I've ever done. Yeah. Um, and well, it was in Cal- when it comes to like sporting activities, it was like yeah. so much fun. And I, it was maybe because I didn't expect it to be as fun as it was, but we did disc golf at the, I think at the first disc golf like course that was uh, in LA. And it was like such a blast, such a blast. I don't, is there... I mean, I guess that I'm sure there would we, have to be, but yeah, that would be something. Yeah. Or pickleball, apparently. What about like, MMA what training it, for yeah. you? Oh, I mean, I don't want to. You'd wanna, be good at that. I mean, I don't want to. You're don't, a scrappy ass bitch. I, I really don't want to fight people. I just kind of need to get like it's aggression sparring. out. So I don't, I don't really, I'm not confident in like going against somebody else. It's just like me in the aqua bag like that I could be fine with and do like my, I'm not comfortable. I just. Motherfucker like, Tom said air ballooning, hot air ballooning. Yeah. Hell no. That's the worst way to die. Have you ever seen those people up there? Aww. The shit going and just fall. Oh my God. Stop, Woo. stop, stop, Hell no. stop, stop. You didn't read the rest of the comments. Oh, so yeah, let's not continue. What do you say? My in laws pretty big into it. Like, uh, oh. Shit. Jesus. You uh, foot hot now. air ballooning is, is, is awesome, man. It's uh, some of the best uh, memories. I uh, did yep. that in uh, Tiger, and it uh-huh. was great. Yep. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> On that bullshit. We got there, didn't we? Yes, we did. Now, hot air ballooning scares me. It's kind of like helicopters where I won't not jump on it, 
Like, I'll still do it. Because I'm like, if it's my time to go, it's my time to go. But it does scare me. It's like, yes. I can see like a horrible death. That shit catches on fire. There's no way out of it. Unless you guys have parachutes and you don't. And hot air balloon. I've been up in a hot air balloon, right? It's just like, oh. Like, to me, there's think, nothing more scarier than I, I, the I, prospect of you know you're about to die. There's okay. no way out of there's it. In a, a helicopter and hot air ballooning, if something happens, there's no way out unless you have a parachute and you usually don't. So I think that PK, your mind is very different than a lot of other people because, like, you're like you've already had your what nine lives? Is that what cats have? Yeah. 10, 11, 12, 13? You've had like eighteen. And so, like with other people, like the average person, like hot air balloon, like I see it, it's beautiful. There's all these festivals. I just want like a picnic to see a different view, and like nobody is crazy like you are thinking that they're gonna die because it's gonna I'm catch on fire. I'm not saying that they will, but if it does, there's I no know, way out. I know, but like with it, a plane, unless a uh, a wing falls off, you can still glide down. Maybe you won't, especially at nighttime, but you can still I'm just try. saying, like, you're so extreme. I, just, I like to have possibilities of, like, all I, right, I what happens if something goes wrong? In a hot air balloon, you're fucked. <laughs> There's no way around it. Oh Sorry. Would you ever do skydiving again? Oh. Um, no, I'm not. Skydiving is the only thing that, um, after I had my incident, I got really uneasy about like even watching videos mm -hmm. which i always thought that was just people just you know not i don't know i never thought that something would affect me to that to the way that it did i think it's been enough time that yes i probably would now yeah because again with skydiving you have another parachute so you have like at least a backup in a hot air balloon you don't have a backup well no because it's so straight slow down. you just are yeah until the shit catches on fire and then you straight down all right that's what all i'm right. saying yeah helicopter I guess they can turn the rotor and like you can, you know, like the people in Hawaii had like a, a hard landing, but they were OK. Yeah. But oh, balloons. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. Mm -mm. What about like the thing off the bridge? Uh, what is that? Bungee? Yeah, no, that's uh, not for me. If I'm going to do that, I'll just jump out of a plane. OK. Yeah. Um, with you, PK, uh, looking for the exit. The shit goes down. Yeah. How do I get out? Call of Duty Warzone career, haha. -ha. I don't know what that one's about, but uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's. Uh, I mean, I, again, yeah. we uh, we have a lot of adventures coming up. I would say in the next seventy two hours. I don't know what to expect. You're you're staring at me I like, have what no are you idea. doing? Like, what are you what are you trying to expect? I, I mean, we're, I expect we're, a plane ride and a hotel stay, and uh, you know, <laughs> and, going to, uh, to a, party? a birthday party, and then I expect a flight home. Uh, yeah. Well, what do you expect? That, that is the normal expectation. Yesterday, I expect to go to the grocery store to get lasagna. And guess what happened? We were like wine tasting. Today, uh, I expected to get a drive to go to work. And then we had like two officers that we thought were starting like a motorcade because somebody like fancy was coming through. And we're like, oh my God, what's happening? They're stopping traffic. And I was like, maybe it's for us, but it probably is not. And it wasn't because it was like oversized uh, yeah. truck that had big parts. But as I was just saying, like <laughs> everything that we do in our life, this like, you know, on Monday, you driving all that way to see something spectacular. I don't know. Like, that's what I want to do again. No, but I, I want to like, I want to drive a, again for another like 10 hours. I was like, every something. day, every day is a gift. And you just, you know, I don't know. You just have to embrace it. So like us actually like going to travel to like see some like really good friends for a birthday. You just don't know what's going to happen in between there. And I want to be able to share stories. With everybody. So, to be continued. Is to be continued. Should be interesting. Yeah. I mean, it's Atlanta. It's always interesting. <laughs> yeah. Again, if there's no, like, the, the train is no longer, like, working for another month and you got to take a party bus with a stripper pole in Atlanta, that's already starting the party. Or Kareem's car. I don't know. Kareem's car. That's right. All right. Let's wrap things up. Uh, yeah. We've been, we've been going for a minute. So, <laughs> let's wrap things up. Okay. Unless you had something else. No, no, no. I do not. What? No, no, no. I'm good. I'm okay. good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Everything is fine. Um, I, I'm just saying like next week. Nothing we tells you everything is fine until like you actually have to tell people everything is fine. I know. My head has been spinning like crazy. Um, I did get a confirmation. One of our friends that we recorded a Ooh, podcast with. Um, I thought about that. Yeah. You're not listening. That's fine. Yeah, I am. W uh, one of the girls that like we hadn't aired the. The chick uh, that was talking about the uh, orgy when she uh, showed up at the room. <laughs> yeah. We haven't aired. I can air that. We haven't aired that yet because we got to listen to it. But uh, it has been confirmed. She's going like because she was only here for a few months. She's definitely going to stay another month. So she said that she's all in for next week's podcast. And then okay. that'd be like a different kind of conversation. So maybe we'll do she's it on crazy. She's got some great stories. She has amazing what? stories. She's going to have to be on camera. Is that. Uh, 
uh, I'll ask her. Maybe I'll bring like a brown bag and she can put it on okay. her head. Yeah. We'll have to I'll get, like, ask her. Or she, or she's yeah. actually watching now, so maybe she'll text me real quick. She's got some great stories, so Amazing. it'd be it'd be yeah. you know kind of fun to have her on. Yeah. Um. All right. Don't party too hard uh, tonight without letting us in on it from Bradley. Where the fuck are you, Bradley? Yeah, let's go, man. Yeah, let's like, go. Wait, let's roll. What's going and on And whoever tonight? said fishing, I did want to do fishing. I want to do the fly fishing and shit. The like uh, the last time I went fishing though, it was like in Mexico, and we did the boat. And I'm always going on vacation with Denise. He doesn't want to fish, right? So the one mm. time out of like 10 vacations, the guys were like, let's go fishing. And I'm like, yes. We got on the boat. And we went out there. Not even a bite. Oh. Not even a bite. Did you guys go out too late or what happened? I don't know. We just uh, were in the wrong areas. I don't know. Mm. It, was, it was awful. So me and fishing have not gotten along. But yes. <laughs> You know, that's something I did want to did want to try. And if you have any other suggestions, drop assistant voice notes because um, I really it's it's very hard after that. I'm not kidding around. Um, it's very hard to like bounce back and to to find something that it's like what's next. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just it's very very hard. Uh, bootleg, what's up, bootlegs? It's just like the pole man. What uh, did you say from the closet? Oh yeah, right. Oh, the pole man. Oh man, I borrowed a shirt and I got a stain on oh, it. I got to get him a new. Yeah, we talked about yeah, it. Yeah, but I thought I was going to be able to get the stain out. Uh-uh. So now I got to buy him a new shirt. Yeah, you do. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's uh <laughs> I'm like I don't even know what I got on there. If anybody has any good way I, Oh, Oxy clean that bitch. No, Oxy clean. No, no, no. One of uh an, another coworker. I don't want to share people's names, but swears by Don. Don like it's the It's not the same one that told you to get the stupid IV bus, is it? Stop, no. Oh, it's well, not. that was a scam, so <laughs> no, I'm not, not. not listening to that person. I'm just saying that. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, if you know how to get stains out, hit me up, because now i got to buy him a new shirt. And I don't even know what I got on the shirt. That won't come out. It's not like wine or anything. Is it? <clears throat> I don't. <clears throat> no, that comes out. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Came out of your face. All right, and on that note, thank you so much for joining us. We love you guys so much. <laughs> See? Oh my god, I think I know who Moth is now. I know I uh <laughs> What? Who's Moth? Grease? No, no, no. Don? Uh, the inventor of Don? WD forty. I'm not putting WD forty. You're trying to make me fuck up a shirt even more. <laughs> WD for you and put a auto tech nerd. You wanna put oil on a shirt? <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Who That's... do you think uh Moth is? I don't wanna say, but I think I know. Okay, and we'll talk about that as, uh, as the uh, the show ends. Yeah. We're not going to that uh, Italian place that was like... No, we talked... No, 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 no. Wait, you want to go there and get more stories? No, I don't know about that place. That place like freaked me out. No, that place was terrible. That's why we got the $13. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Sorry. We should definitely end this store because I like have so many things going on. But I think last night, like the co like the worker at Kroger was like literally trying to get us like... <laughs> Just take it. Just take it. Because, like, the lasagna wasn't ringing up. And I was like, no, you have to ring it up. And then he's like, oh, it's fine. Just, no, you guys are good. You guys are good. And I was like, no, we need to pay for it. He's like, you guys are good. And I'm like, oh, I can't steal lasagna. I have a problem with this guy. Like, I really like this guy at the Kroger. But I'm like, motherfucker, you see me every day. Yeah. Every oh, day knows, you see me. He knows me. He knows you and doesn't know me. And I'm like, what the F, bro? Yeah, last time you he was- put a wig on? Last, what the F, a dress? Last, last time he was like, oh, Colensis, where's that from? And I was like, my husband- Bitch, that's, Yeah, that's me! My husband- That's me! Is Greek, yeah. I think- I think, I think he's just fun. He's just think, getting under my skin, but I, like, oh- Because he's cuter than you? You're sexy and hot. Stupid bitch. Oh, yeah, 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 Whoa! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who said that? <laughs> Who the fuck said that? Stupid bitch. <laughs> I know nothing about the guy except for he like scans my wine and doesn't he give is me a, any judgment a, about it. He's a handsome fellow. Like, all this, and he's nice too. He's also like eight feet tall. I just like pissed up. Like I'm like, <laughs> dude, you see us every every single day for like it's been three months. How do you not? At this point, it was the same place with the Aladdin uh, spot. That I went there before yeah. we moved to Atlanta every uh, single day well, for lunch. You on your for own like too. For like fucking six months. Yeah. And the guy still at the end of the six <laughs> months had no idea who I was. I was like, really? <laughs> I thought this was like my cheers, my neighborhood spot. Like, yeah. how do you not know who I am? Oh. <laughs> Coming up next. Oh, no, that's the wrong. <laughs> that's the wrong that clip. That is a thousand percent right for that one. That's the wrong clip. You know what? I did have a request in the DMs. Um, I don't have my DMs pulled up right now, but I just want to share... People want to hear more of your old school um, pranks. What about them? They just want to hear like some of your favorite pranks. If you can like, you know, especially on a throwback Thursday. Um, 
I don't know. Y'all have to play it now. Like this can definitely be next week, but that was a request that I got. You know, the the crazy part is is that these prank calls. Here's the thing, like now when you hear prank calls on the radio for the last like 10 years or whatever, maybe 15, they're all fake, right? Because you get sued and all that stuff. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can find them. Okay. I was like, do you want me to share a story? PK? No, but I, I would say like, like back when I was doing them. Back in my day, I had a yellow book page and I would call people from the goddamn like, mouth. Oh, wait, was that true? No. Yes, it was. I mean, yes. <laughs> yes, you did. Every time I, I travel there. somewhere, I'd a phone book and yeah. i'm like oh and everyone this day what's a phone book what does that mean what's a phone book but the thing with me is like even when i was doing it i should have used actors but i'm like you just can never replicate like somebody going off on you right and then um so i would just do it um uh, but like it's been such a long time now that i'm like uh i wonder if somebody would recognize themselves as no one's listening to this like <laughs> well yeah but if something goes viral and they were like oh my god that was me 20 years ago Oh, you know what I mean? Like, has enough time gone by enough time passed. that the mayor correct with the rooster? Correct. Yeah, he's probably dead. I could probably play that one. Let's play it. But what about the Halloween? It, it might have been AI. Who knows this day and age, right? Are you doing Halloween or the mayor? No, I'm trying to. Oh, uh, I'm gonna do my favorite one. Okay. I'm gonna do my favorite one. Yeah. All right, so prefaces. When was this? Uh, this just happened like... In Portland? It was in Portland, yeah. Portland days. Uh, you have to, I mean, all of y'all have heard this one for sure, but it's one of my favorites. Um, because again, you'd spend hours calling people. And uh, even if you got something funny, then you'd call back and they would never answer the phone. And I would put stuff on hold for like two weeks, but then, you know, they would change their number. So uh, a lot of stuff that was like really funny in the beginning, you could never play because there was no ending. This guy kept answering his phone. It's one of my favorites. Hello. What's your social security number? What? What's your social security number? Oh, who the f*** are you going to call and ask me that? What's your social security number? Hello? What's her social security number? Who am I talking to? What's her social security number? Oh, 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 that's it, okay, you got that? You were lying. Yes. Would you give me yours? 694. Would you give me yours? 69. No, what's your name? What's your name? 694. What's your name? 694. What's your name? 36. Hello? What's her social security number? Stop f***ing with my phone, all right? I'm not playing with you, all right? But tell me. Don't, I'm not going to tell you but, nothing. I'm going to tell you one more tell time. Stop playing with but my phone. But tell me, here. what's her social security number? Listen, don't let me have to use my caller ID and find out your number. Oh, that okay, no. I'm J-O-B on you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so don't f*** with me. You understand? No. You know, I got a call ID. Oh, here. shit. You've got to call. got them under one oh, too many. Shit. So if I look up wait, your shit, then no, I don't know who you wait, are. You're I'm sorry. I'm, I didn't know you had a caller ID. I'm sorry. It's too f***ing bad. Oh, oh Please don't. No, you're not sorry yet. I'm no, so no, sorry. No, no. Oh, s***. No, your ass belongs oh, to me. Oh, my ass is done. Yeah, you belong to me, Junior. Oh, s***. <laughs> I belong to you. Uh-huh, yeah. I didn't know you had a caller ID. I'm I so... Yeah, what you know. Oh, mother f***ing s***. Back again and see how sorry you be. Yeah. What's my phone number? What? What's your phone number? What your phone number is on the thing, and I'm not even going What's to... What's my it. phone number, asshole? I'm not giving you nothing. What's my phone number? What did I tell you? Caller idealist ass. What's what my phone about? number? Yeah, well, matter of fact, you know what? Mother okay. on the phone doesn't have caller ID. Oh, my oh, God. Great. Caller the Halloween I one is the best with a 14-year-old. Yeah. I'm just 14. <laughs> oh, my God, PK. <laughs> uh, what's some of the other ones? There's some really good. Uh, the Jesus guy that wanted to skin me alive. Yeah. He's like, I'm going to skin you. I'm going to skin you. Yeah. Yeah. Good thing that some of these people never. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Maybe maybe a CD. Maybe that is like going to come back again. And you can put uh, these all on a CD. I thought about putting them online. I have some of them online. The Bruce Wayne. Um, the Joker one is. Yeah. I don't think I have. You know, it's okay. The, the problem <laughs> was is like. Um, we'll play it. Yeah, I'll do the Bruce Wayne. And we'll, we'll end on this one. I don't know if this is the um, the one without the bleeps, though, because Bruce Wayne I did actually after the playhouse, just at the house, fucking yeah. around. 
I think. I yeah, think it was you after did. The house. Yeah, I remember. Either that it. or I saved it without. I wish if there was one thing that I could have gone back and done is like I wish I would have saved the unedited version of some of these calls to where like now, unfortunately, I just have the ones with the bleeps. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, man, I wish now it doesn't matter about the FCC. I wish I could have played the, you know, here's the Bruce Wayne one. <laughs> this is a good one, too. Hello. Bruce. Yep. Bruce Wayne. Yeah, that's me. I know who you are. Who's this? I know who you are. Hello. Bruce. Yes. I know who you are. Who is this? Mr. Wayne. Stupid. I know who you are. The hardest part was coming up with the dumbest concepts uh-huh. to annoy people with. Yeah. That was the hardest part. <laughs> I'm like, what's the stupidest thing I could possibly do? That's why a lot of these are just like one lines. Mm-hmm. Hello. All right, dude. Enough. Hello. I know who you are. Come on, man. Hello. Bruce. Hey, listen, man. Listen, man. Don't Mr. Call me Wayne, again. wait, Mr. Listen. Mr. Wayne. I've got Mr. People, Wayne. Listen, Mr. Listen. I'm sorry. You Bruce, got a problem. Bruce, Bruce, Bruce. Got a problem. Bruce. You, I better know you. Bruce. Bruce. What? I know who you are. What? Hello? Hello? Yeah, I'm sorry. I think I have the wrong number. Is this uh who's this? Is this Bruce? Yeah, this is Bruce. Mr. Wayne. Hey, this gets funnier and funnier, bro. I know who you are. Listen, man, I better know you, because if I don't, you're in big f- trouble. Listen up, man, I got caller ID, f- kid. You know who I am? Everybody would always go to that. Well, Everybody that had a, caller ID after, like, the, the 15th call. That was the thing Everybody. back in the day. You no, know, it doesn't f- matter, because the cops are going to know who you are, dip f- Then both of our identities are f- Damn. F- retard. I'll see you on the rooftops. Oh, it was so great, like, so, when you could finally get one. How? long was that process uh that one took like two weeks i think because i like i don't yeah. think people under two weeks stand yeah that that wasn't just like every like two seconds no calling it was hell no rap random let me play i want to play one that's not mine but this is in my opinion the greatest prank call that's ever been done it's ever been done it's the one that like and again not one of mine Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Who is it? Hey, turn the fucking TV down. Who is it? Hello. 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 It's your neighbor. My member. Your neighbor, you dumb. Oh, this is my the neighbor. Yeah, your neighbor, the one, the paper you've been stealing. My paper. You paper? Yes, my newspaper every morning that comes to my house, and you come over and take it and bring it to your house? Your paper? It's 50 cents every day, and I pay for the goddamn paper. I take your paper? Yeah, you take my paper. Why? I don't know why. That's why I'm calling you. I'm trying to find out why the hell you do something like that. Why you know that? Why you, you know I take it? Yeah, I know you take it. You want me to kick your ass? Why you know I take it? Yeah, you stop taking my paper, otherwise I'm going to kick some ass. Oh! I want you to go get the paper right now and read it to me because I don't know what the hell's going on in the world because I don't have a freaking paper. Motherfucker, fucker, shit, bitch! Hey! You don't talk to me like that! What's that, guy? You, you want a trouble, right? What? You want a trouble, right? You want I some know, trouble? You want trouble! If you want trouble, I've you got trouble! I, I got trouble right here waiting for you! You bring my f***ing paper home now, and then you'll see, and then you'll see trouble. Yeah. Hey, you know what? You wrap that f***ing paper up back the way it was, and you get it right outside right now. And you know what? I'll meet you. I'll meet you right in between our yards, and we're gonna throw some gonna throw some down. Hello? What are you calling? Why are you trying to change your voice? What are you calling? I know who this is. I would just want to get my newspaper back on a regular basis, all right? You want a newspaper? Yeah, I want my newspaper back. Yeah, just I'm, come in my house, And okay? I'm, I'm tired of playing with you. You don't want me in your house, because I'll tear that thing now. apart. Police, come in my house now. 
You want me to come over there? Yeah! I'll kick your ass, I'll take my newspaper? Yeah! I can be over there in two seconds. All right. All right. I just wait for you. Okay. In the house, now. Okay, yeah, let's okay, go. Come in now. Okay, you keep the door unlocked and I'll walk right in there. Just come in five minutes now. Okay, no, not five minutes. I'm coming over right now. All right, come in. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's get it on. All right, come in. All right, here I come. All right, come in now. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. I just wait for you, okay? Okay. I have ready everything. Okay, you ready? Five minutes now. If you not come in, I just call police. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what really that was the call. That I was like, oh, I want to start doing, you know, I want to do a radio show with prank phone calls. Oh my that God. was yeah. yeah, that was your inspiration. Yeah, that's the that's the one. That's uh, that's one of them. I should say, yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, you want to wrap things up? We yeah, good? Let's Anything wrap else? Wrap that up on this uh, throwback Wait, Thursday. Are you well, gonna wine and dine me? What's gonna happen? What's what's happening after the show right oh, now? I'm gonna get naked in the uh, bedroom next door. I haven't really had dinner yet, and I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> hey y'all like i i i said from the beginning of this here podcast like i'm on it all right we'll see I'm you guys it. all right let's get it on uh we're doing the show next week or uh yeah. What's your? You tell me with your stupid schedule. My, uh, my, oh, now you're all of a sudden like in your, yeah. uh, your radio voice. All of a sudden, oh. everybody, your radio. Um, yeah. Honestly, I would love to do the show Wednesday, but I also would love for like some of my coworkers who I have now become. Jay, friends, it's just a yes or no question. They want to be on the show too. Okay, so we'll we see might you do next week. Two shows next week. Love you guys. Have a fantastic weekend. Two shows. Oh shit! Cheers. See ya. It's the PK and BK show. Catch us live weekdays at five Pacific, seven Central, seven Central, or at pkanddk.com. Replays, podcasts, blogs, and more. I actually leave, and I'm not. I'm not gonna say it again. Bye, 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 bye. Stop. Bah. I'm on the street. I'm, I'm telling you, goodbye. Miss, we're on.